Hello guys and welcome to my channel today. Hmm, I don't know what's going on there, but my intro started playing again, but um Hello guys and welcome oh. to my channel today. Hmm, I don't started playing again, but um Oh hello. never mind. I was listening to my own voice, but <laughs> here we go. Um I'm gonna be playing a game called Colat um or Kulat. I don't know uh, how to say it really, but um Supposed to be a new scary game, um, founded from uh, founded in Steam. So, yeah, uh, I'm know it. Let's go, let's go play it. Let me set this up, and welcome again, 2016 guys. Let's see, cola. Let's turn this on. Where did I put it? There you go. Cola. I don't even know where it's at. My God. <laughs> uh oh. There it is. Let's turn this on. <laughs> All right, let's fix up the settings here. Epic. I love how they say epic. Alright. Get the settings, yes. 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 Let's start this. Fifty six years ago, Russia. The Northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Otorten Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow.
All right, Act One. So, if you guys don't know who that was, um, that was actually Ned Stark, aka Barmir, also known as Sean Bean, and um, that narration is pretty damn good. So, let's go ahead and start this. Let's do this, guys. Wish me luck. Wow. Wow. supposed to go. I'm guessing I should go straight. There it is.
Whoa. In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. An insufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. What the I hell? felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I welcomed the end with delight. I am right behind you. What? What? Okay, unlock camp stews. Let's try it. Act two. Already? Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity? When others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. When they told you that you were a monster that deserved punishment. And you could really not your sins when they took away your loved ones leaving you to rot in the dark the problem is it's in their darkness you have never been alone hey is that Sauron the hell is that red red light over there it's the all-seeing eye Grab more drinks here. Press F. Journal. There's nothing. Map. Okay. Oh. Okay. What is that? Thirty-seven and sixty-two. Okay, that's the first camp. No, oh, no, hold on. Okay, let's go to to that coordination.
tower. What is that? There's something over there. when I go to that tower. I don't think I should run. Anybody here? Looks like there's nothing here. I have a bad feeling about this. Whoa! Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the hell was that? What the hell? 
Oh my god. What? <sighs> well guys, that was uh the first gameplay. Um I think I'm gonna do a series of the use uh of Cola. It's a great game so far, so we'll see how it is. Alright guys, happy new year and this is gonna be my first video for twenty sixteen. Later guys.